As consumers increasingly demand electric vehicles with faster charging times and longer driving ranges, tech companies are being pushed to find breakthrough solutions. Silicon is emerging as the golden material for next-generation battery anodes. With an annual growth rate exceeding 49%, the silicon battery market is entering a booming phase and is expected to reach $414 million by 2028. So, which upcoming Tesla model might adopt this promising silicon-based battery technology? Before we begin, please help us reach 9,500 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. Why are silicon batteries considered a breakthrough in energy storage technology? A team of scientists at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory has successfully developed a highly conductive polymer binder that significantly enhances the electrical conductivity of silicon, a key material in the production of lithium-ion battery electrodes. The project aims to precisely control the morphology and surface properties of silicon, thereby improving the overall performance of the electrodes. This breakthrough not only promises enhanced battery efficiency, but also expands potential applications in fields such as energy storage, solar energy, and optoelectronic devices. Silicon has long been regarded as an ideal alternative to graphite for use in lithium-ion battery anodes due to its superior energy storage capacity. The application of 3D printing technology to create silicon lattice structures enables the formation of efficient lithium transport channels, thereby improving ion transmission speed and efficiency. The isolated arrangement of silicon pillars helps stabilize operation and extend electrode lifespan, playing a crucial role in the structural function of battery cells. These technological advancements highlight significant potential for scaling up the production of high-performance silicon composite electrodes at lower costs. This could make next-generation lithium-ion batteries far more cost-competitive than current products that use traditional silicon composite materials, while also boosting their performance. Currently, most commercial lithium-ion batteries use lithium-cobalt oxide cathodes. However, to optimize performance and reduce costs, the industry is actively exploring advanced alternative materials for both cathodes and anodes. Silicon is emerging as a highly promising replacement for graphite, the conventional material used in anodes. Since 2010, numerous research teams have synthesized silicon nanowires using the SFLS method for application in anode structures. Additionally, Germanium nanowire-based anodes have demonstrated up to a 50% increase in energy storage capacity. Experimental studies show that graphite, silicon, and carbon are all being used to fabricate anodes for lithium-ion batteries. When combined with MXene, a next-generation conductive material, the performance and stability of these anodes improve significantly. A research team led by Dr. Melina Piper is currently developing a specialized lithium-ion battery electrode for electric vehicles, aiming to completely replace carbon with silicon in the anode structure. According to her, silicon offers several superior advantages over traditional anode materials, not only for EVs but also for applications like solar energy storage. At present, several advanced tech companies such as Sila, Enovix, Enovate, and Angstrom Materials are actively developing and commercializing high-performance silicon anodes. In theory, silicon can store multiple times more energy than graphite, potentially doubling the energy density of lithium-ion batteries in the near future. With one of the highest energy-to-weight ratios among all available materials and a discharge voltage well-suited for lithium-ion battery chemistry, silicon holds enormous promise for enhancing battery performance. Thanks to these outstanding characteristics, silicon carbon, psi C composites, are increasingly seen as a promising solution for next-generation rechargeable battery anodes. In-depth studies from companies like Sila and Enovix have demonstrated that silicon nanowires not only deliver high performance, but also exhibit strong electrochemical stability, meeting the rising demands of modern battery technology. Moreover, silicon-coated carbon structures such as thin-film silicon anodes have also shown remarkable effectiveness. Thin-film silicon solutions have delivered promising results in recent trials and are considered one of the most viable and sustainable approaches to optimizing anode performance. 
From a manufacturing standpoint, current synthesis methods can now produce silicon nanotube structures without the need for molds, although some limitations remain regarding nanoscale shaping. However, researchers like Panat suggest that new processes can utilize abundant materials like silicon oxide, which offers twice the energy storage capacity compared to current graphite-based lithium-ion batteries. Notably, silicon anode coating technology can now be seamlessly integrated into existing production lines, paving the way for large-scale commercialization in the near future. Some startups, such as Amprius, have already begun producing lithium-ion batteries with silicon anodes at commercial scale, and products featuring advanced materials like graphene and silicon nanotubes are expected to enter the market soon. Once again, please help us reach 9,500 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. Why might silicon batteries be considered superior to Tesla's current battery technology? Lithium-ion batteries with graphite anodes have reached the material and performance limits, pushing EV manufacturers to seek a technological leap if they wish to improve driving range, charging time, and production costs. Tesla currently uses two main battery formats, the 2,170 cells for Model 3 and Model Y made in China, and the newer 4,680 cells for vehicles made at Giga Texas, including certain versions of the Cybertruck. However, both rely on graphite-based anodes, with average energy densities of around 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram at the cell level. While Tesla has improved the physical design of the 4680 by eliminating tabs and integrating the cells into the vehicle's structural frame for added rigidity, these are primarily mechanical innovations, not breakthroughs in battery materials. Silicon, if successfully adopted as a full anode material, could unlock a quantum leap in both energy density and material efficiency. As discussed in Argument 1, Silicon's theoretical specific capacity reaches 3,600 milliamp hours per gram, nearly 10 times that of graphite. This could enable silicon batteries to reach energy densities of over 500 watt hours per kilogram at the cell level, and potentially higher at the pack level with optimized battery pack design. At such levels, electric vehicles could achieve over 800 kilometers of range on a single charge without increasing battery weight. This is crucial because battery mass remains one of the biggest barriers to EV efficiency, especially for larger formats like the Cybertruck and full-size SUVs. Moreover, silicon-based batteries offer fast charging capabilities that graphite cannot match. Research from Stanford, MIT, and companies like Amprius Technologies shows that silicon anodes can charge from 0 to 80% in just 10 to 12 minutes, thanks to faster lithium-ion absorption and the avoidance of thick SEI solid electrolyte interface formation that typically plagues graphite anodes. In contrast, Tesla's current batteries still require around 25 to 30 minutes to reach the same level using Supercharger V3. As ultra-fast charging becomes a critical part of the EV ownership experience, especially in dense urban markets where overnight home charging is not feasible, this could be a game-changing advantage if Tesla succeeds in commercializing silicon batteries. However, Tesla is currently approaching this technology with caution. The upgraded versions of its 4,680 and 2,170 cells in testing only incorporate about 5 to 10% silicon mixed into the graphite anode. The goal is to slightly boost energy density while maintaining stable charge-discharge cycles at around 1,000 cycles. While this is a reasonable short-term step, it still falls short of silicon's full potential. Startups like Sila Nanotechnologies and Group 14 have already achieved 20 to 50% silicon content in anodes and are actively developing 100% silicon anodes capable of retaining capacity over more than 1,000 cycles. From a supply chain perspective, geopolitics and the shift toward battery material localization also strongly favor silicon over graphite. While most natural graphite supply is concentrated in China, silicon can be sourced from sand or industrial scrap, both of which are abundant in the U.S. and other Western nations. The U.S. government is also investing hundreds of millions of dollars under programs like the Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, to fund domestic battery material plants. 
For instance, Sila's facility in Washington, expected to supply silicon anode materials for millions of EVs annually starting in 2026. This helps Tesla integrate silicon more seamlessly into its current lines, reduce geopolitical risk, and meet the made-in-USA battery supply chain standards. If Tesla wants to break through the current limitations of lithium-ion batteries and maintain its technological edge over rivals like BYD, Rivian, and Lucid, it is virtually essential to advance more aggressively toward silicon battery adoption. Silicon is not merely a replacement material. It offers the opportunity to reimagine the entire battery architecture, from cell design and thermal management to fast charging and user experience. The question is no longer whether Tesla should adopt silicon, but how far and how fast it will push this technology. With its maturing R&D foundation and increasingly domestic supply chain, that future may arrive much sooner than expected. Currently, Tesla is utilizing three main battery technologies in parallel. LFP cells for standard range vehicles, 2170 cells for the Model 3 and Model Y produced in China, and the newer 4680 cells used in vehicles from Giga Texas and select Cybertruck models. Meanwhile, silicon batteries remain in the testing phase. Comparing performance, cost, and durability across these technologies highlights the significant potential of silicon, although it still faces several key challenges. In terms of energy capacity, silicon batteries offer a clear advantage due to their much higher theoretical energy density. A fully developed silicon anode can achieve over 500 watt-hours per kilogram, nearly twice the density of 2,170 cells, around 250 watt-hours per kilogram, and significantly higher than that of improved 4680 cells, approximately 270 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. In contrast, LFP cells only deliver about 160 to 180 watt-hours per kilogram, meaning they require much more mass to achieve the same driving range. How do silicon batteries balance cost and safety? From an economic standpoint, silicon batteries hold a distinct advantage due to their relatively low production costs compared to other advanced battery chemistries, especially when evaluated in terms of the energy efficiency they deliver. With the potential to reach production costs below $100 per kilowatt hour by 2025, Silicon-based batteries are becoming increasingly attractive to electric vehicle EV manufacturers and developers of grid-scale energy storage systems. One of the key factors contributing to this cost reduction is energy density. The higher the density, the lower the cost per unit of energy. In addition, new silicon battery designs reduce the use of inactive materials, which are a major cost driver in traditional lithium-ion batteries. Recent material innovations, such as the growth of silicon nanowires on commercial graphite substrates, have demonstrated the ability to cut production costs by more than 30%. This approach not only saves on materials, but also allows companies to adapt existing manufacturing lines, avoiding costly infrastructure overhauls. In a volatile raw material market, optimizing battery design and materials for cost efficiency is quickly becoming a competitive differentiator. In terms of safety, however, silicon anode batteries still face significant challenges. A key technical concern is the substantial volumetric expansion of silicon during charging and discharging, which can cause particle fracture, electrode degradation, and a sharp decline in both performance and lifespan. This instability increases the risk of overheating, posing safety threats over prolonged usage cycles. Therefore, Understanding and controlling the thermal behavior of silicon-based anodes is critical for developing stable, high-performance lithium-ion batteries. To address these issues, solid-state battery solutions that incorporate silicon are showing great promise in terms of improved safety. These systems offer higher lithium-ion storage capacity and significantly reduce the likelihood of dendrite formation, one of the leading causes of internal short circuits. For example, GDI's battery technology, which uses 100% silicon as the anode material, rather than just partial doping as seen in most commercial batteries, significantly lowers dendrite-related risks while boosting overall performance.
Additional mechanical and electrical safety features are also being integrated into next-generation silicon batteries, including thermal fuses that cut off at 90 degrees Celsius, PTC devices to limit high-voltage surges, pressure release vents, and smart protection circuits capped at 4.3 volts. These embedded safety systems improve the intrinsic reliability of battery cells and ensure safer operation under harsh conditions. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.